This is Houston. Say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey, Houston. We are learning how the Earth is sculpted by water. And fancy term, depositional landforms. We're going to be learning about sediments and where they get deposited and then what kind of a landform they create. The most simple one is called a sand or a gravel bar. And a sand or gravel bar, what do you think is going on? Uh, is as, as a river uh, deposits sediments, it can create a little bar, a sand bar. You'll see this out in Galveston. In many ways, Galveston and that whole area is a sandbar, is what it is. Uh, the second one is called a delta. Now, the deltas are named after the Greek symbol delta. And a delta is a triangle. And I'm not sure if you can quite see this, but this takes the shape of a triangle. The river is meandering here, and then he snakes out here and here and here. Because ultimately what you're looking at right here is that these are uh, sediments. So the, maybe the mouth of the river was back here many, many, many years ago, and now it's depositing in the shape of a triangle, sort of spreading out. Uh, and how does a delta form? It, it forms actually in stages, right? The first stage is you get a nice, pretty channel, but then as that sediment deposits, then the channel, you know, all this sediment gets deposited here, it shifts over here. And then, of course, it shifts over here because all that it gets cut, cut off because it fills in with sediment, and then we get a new snake. You see how it kind of is growing as time goes on because it deposits sediments. The sediments then create a little natural dam, and then the water says, oh, i got to find a new way, so it, boom, shoots out another way, and that's way how a delta forms. And uh, here's a cool picture. I mean, the Mississippi River, not far from where we're at, right? And this is the Mississippi River Delta that down near New Orleans and all that kind of stuff right here. We've got the Mississippi River, and it's been this delta that's formed over many, many years. And even you've got this river, which is actually part of that whole Mississippi River system. Right now, this Mississippi River is extending way out here, and we can start seeing the new uh, delta. And notice you can see the sediment. This little the white piece down here tends to be, well, not is, tends to be, it is, uh, filled with sediment, and it's like making the ocean shallower because you're depositing sediments, thousands of cubic feet, uh, millions of cubic feet of sediment down out into the Gulf of Mexico. And uh, now part of this, this section goes to an interesting comment is that how do we form a natural levee? A levee is like a, a dam, right? It's something that's going to uh, cause uh, it to happen because as water flows during a flood, right? So you get a flood. What happens is the coarse sediments the, the bigger pieces, they don't travel as far, and so they create uh, during, uh, they, they, they get deposited, the big pieces of rock, right, on the edges. And then when the water recedes, the flood goes down, then you've got a little natural levee. And then it floods again, you see, right? It floods again, and more coarse sediments. And you see how, how the natural levee, it's natural. So this happens on a natural basis. After many floods, you're going to get sort of more like steeper banks of your river. So that's how a natural levee forms. And then lastly, we want to talk about something called an alluvial fan. I think this is a super cool picture. Is what you've got is you have this. This is a picture. Right? This is in a river. Now, but this is going to happen, and it creates this. You can see the fan-like appearance. Alluvial fans are kind of like a delta, but it happens when you're going to have super steep land followed by, so this is like a big mountain. So instead of like the Mississippi River that is flat where it's reaching the ocean, this is a big mountain. And then all the sediments get dumped in really, really fast because they're coming crazy fast from the super steep slope and it makes an alluvial fan. Again, crazy short stuff. Streams, water, the world is sculpted and changed by water. We'll see you in class.